we have to have a chat because i'm annoyed i can't lie i'm really annoyed i'm really upset right now and i'm not upset at anyone in particular i'm not upset at like i'm just i'm just upset at the world that like oh, let's get into it male friendship otherwise known as what is that um being a gay man and 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 being friends with men Men across the board, gay, straight, bi, pan, curious, down low. Uh, it's really annoying. It's really annoying because there are some men who have the ability to open up, to be emotional, to be vulnerable, to live, laugh, love, to give themselves over and to do it because they're that secure in their sexuality. But there are those few that are so insecure that don't know who they are, that haven't even considered it, that just believe in the lies that society has told them they don't open up. They don't give themselves over to other men. The only thing they do with other men, specifically straight men, is talk about the women they want to have sex with. Is talk about the next female body they want to create sexual conquest over. And a, and a huge, a huge reason as to why that is, is because queer men, gay men have had to fight for our sexuality. We've had to fight to be ourselves. We've had to enter into a heteronormative world, navigate through that heteronormativity and find ourselves. Straight people don't have to do that. Specifically, straight men don't have to do that. They don't have, keyword, I'm careful with my wording. They don't absolutely 100% have to think about sexuality. It's just, oh, I was born, I like girls, and it is what it is. And they never question anything. Those who question, golf clap, bare minimum. This is from uh, Sage Journals. A man's friendship is more than simply a product of being a man. It is a performance of masculinity that is influenced by gendered expectations using structural equation modeling to analyze 98 men's friendships. This study shows how two masculine expectations, one behavioral, stoic, the other attitudinal, anti-feminine, influence different forms of intimacy between friends. And that journal continues to go on. I tried to get access to it, but it was difficult to it. I couldn't get access through my thing. And I know where it all comes from. It comes from our own made up ideas about the world. That's it. A lot of other species don't do this. It's us, it's us human primates that do this to each other. It's us human primates that feel like this is the way we have to continue going on. As a gay man, right? There are gay men who are in touch with who they are, who are in touch with their emotions, with their vulnerability. Why? Because as much as it sucks to say, a lot of us have gone through that traumatic history of being told you're never gonna be good enough. You're never gonna be loved. You're never gonna be beautiful. You can't be gay. You're a sinner. You're gonna go to hell. And a lot of us bond over that. Girl, I got you. Girl, you ain't going to hell. Girl, I got you. We bond over the trauma that we have experienced. We bond over being who we are. We don't sit around bond over just talking about dudes, talking about men. And if we did, right on us. Why? Because we live in a heteronormative society that teaches us that is wrong. So by doing that, like the DL story times, we're revolting. You can't touch me. No wonder why homosexuality exists. No wonder why homosociality exists, which we'll talk about later. Because it's just performative acts of masculinity. You know how many of these dudes just want to hug their bro? Just want to cuddle with their friend? their male friend, because men across the board need male intimacy. It is vital to our success. It is vital to who we are. We need other men. We need other men. We need to feel another man, to be around other men in a non-romantic context. We need to know what it's like to be loved by other men. I'm so sorry, one time thing. Just, just really scared. You know, it would really help me feel better if I could just crawl into bed with you for a few minutes. Are you gonna touch my wiener? Or are you gonna leave my wiener alone? I'll leave your wiener alone. Be a best. Get over here.
Or your hands? On the front. Good night, Boone. Thank you.